believe I forgot my running shoes. Nice shoes, Porter. <laughs> like to see you play basketball in those. Although you'd probably still hit more free throws than me. That's weird. No, you're just embarrassing yourself. Later. Oh, come on, man. You should have kept the clogs. I'd definitely get by your defense then. Yeah, not a chance. My defense. You two, stop your shenanigans. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry, I really don't understand. Hey, excuse me, Bennett High. This is our visiting student, Bianca. She is the top junior athlete from Brajikistan here on a two-week exchange program. What did she just say? I have no idea. I only understand one word of Brajikistani. What's that? Yay! 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 You know what? I'm gonna tell them you speak Brajikistani. No, 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 I don't currently speak the language, nor do I want to. Look at the bigger picture. Usually new kids are popular. You know, you might gain some popularity by association. Well, she's hot. Hey, uh, Principal Malone, Carl here speaks Brajikistani. No, I don't. I'm magicist, so Carl not only speaks fluent Brajikistani, but it sounds just like English to him. In fact, it'll sound just like English to you, too. So, welcome to our school. Oh, thank you so much. Your Brajikistani is impeccable. Thank you. I seem to have a gift for it. Carl speaks Brajikistani. Oh, thank goodness. I was getting tired of drawing those little stick figures. Well, it looks like you're going to be the perfect translator for Bianca here. I'll leave her in your capable hands. Have fun. Yeah. a girl throw free throws like you. She doesn't speak English, Serge. Just I'm her translator. No, Serge, this is Bianca. Oh, well, tell her I think she's an athletic goddess. Serge says that you're good at basketball. I'm the best basketball player in my country. She says thanks. Oh. Time for running. Montclair, run with me. What? Come on. Ask her what her favorite sport is. Uh, what's your favorite sport, Bianca? How can I choose just one? My heart belongs to every sport. Uh, she loves them all. I love all of her. <laughs> Tell her she's beautiful. Uh, you're beautiful. Thank you. Come on. Uh, 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 Look how fast my feet go. Uh, Keep uh, up, Montclair. Briasco. Uh, uh, Briasco. How many? How many laps did we do? Three. She takes my breath away. Ah, oh, mine too. Nice magic, Denise. I'm trying to clean up my locker using magic, but every time I try, weird stuff happens. Yeah, my magic goes off today, too. You know what? Maybe we should go see Dr. Kasabi. He'll know what's going on. Hey, Dr. Kasabi. Oh, thank goodness it's you two. I had a bad beam in, and I've been stuck here for two periods. Can I get an assist? Oh, thanks. Uh, this sort of magical mix-up happens every few thousand years or so. It's the result of two universes getting too close together. And that's why our magic has been off? I'll, uh, book us an appointment to go upstairs for magic recalibration. Bianca says that Brajikistan is a very mountainous country. It's like mountain, 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 flat. Mountain, mountain, mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, tell Bianca that I love her outfit. Uh, Brittany says she loves your outfit. Oh, grazie! Did Monkavich box tono blinda kojavko silve? 
She says thanks, and in her country, you're so pretty you'd be a movie star. In this country, I already am. It's just that in this country, no one knows it yet. <laughs> In my country, she's already a shining star. In this country, it is you who is the shining star. Hey, uh, Carl, I gotta take care of something with Dr. Kasabi. Is everything okay? Yeah, piece of cake. Just cover for me at home and tell my teachers I had the flu or pneumonia or some other disease of your choice. And ice? No. How about the lunch? Hey, hi, honey. I was just dropping this box off for the book drive. Uh, Mom, this is Bianca. She's here for an exchange program for two weeks. <laughs> Hola, Bianca. Bienvenido to Nuestra Country. Uh, should I bother telling her that you can't understand no matter how loud she speaks? <laughs> Why don't you invite Bianca for dinner tonight? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, would you like to come to dinner at my house tonight? Oh, yay! That is a great honor. I will try to find a fajita recipe. Briashka's of it. What was that? I was just practicing my Spanish, Carlos. All right, people, let's go. I haven't got all day. Actually, you do. You have an eternity. Oh, funny. I haven't heard that one before, and I've only been here for all eternity. Big surprise. Denise is the most off. Big surprise. Porter can buzz off. All right. Now, the perfect calibration score is 1.000. But every angel has to get above 0.851 if they want to be able to do magic again. Yeah, well, we begin with the angel lateral index configuration test. Uh, you each have to create the most pure color of blue that you can. <laughs> Dr. Kasabi, you are fully recalibrated. Whoa, nice job, Dr. Kasabi. Yeah, how did you do that? Well, I don't move the hand. The hand moves me. You two will have to complete more tests. Dr. Kasabi, come with me. I'll stamp your forms. I got more blue than you. Yeah, no way. Look at the calibration scores. Mine is higher. For now. But when we're done, I'll bet I end up with a higher score. All right, I'll take that bet. But if I win, you have to tell Dr. Kasabi you no longer want him as your temporary supervisor and that you want to be reassigned. Okay, but then if I win, you have to agree to step aside as well and let me be Dr. Kasabi's AIT instead of you. Oh, so that's how you want it to be. Is that how you want it to be? So it's like that. It's like that. All right. Wow, that was actually good for once, Mom. You should have company over more often. Well, I wouldn't want her to think that we can't cook in this country. Yeah. What is being said? Oh, uh, we are just making fun of my mom's cooking because we've got the right to. <laughs> that's why we end up eating out a lot. What's she saying? She loves your cooking. Oh, thank you. Gracias. Becky, why don't you take Bianca to the living room for dessert? She is vibing you. Mom, come on, she's cool, but I have no interest in dating her. Besides, the only reason she's here is because I'm the only one who understands her. Not because you're a hottie. Please, no guy wants to hear his mom call him a hottie, even if he's on fire. Just trust me, she's not into me. <sighs> oh, no. She must have thought those compliments were coming from me, but I was just translating Serge. Oh, hey, Carl. Serge, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, Serge was just around. You were just sneaking outside around in my mom's rose bushes and decided to pick one? Yeah, mind if I come in? Yeah, I do mind. <laughs> hey, thank you, very gracious of you. Bianca. I missed you, Carl. What's she saying, Montclair? She missed me? Sure. Yay! 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 Bajikistan sounds wonderful. Uh, tell her that it sounds wonderful. Uh, your country sounds wonderful. Uh, Serge says that your country sounds wonderful. Not as wonderful as you. Oh, no, I'm not wonderful. <laughs> not at all. Tell her that her eyes are the same color as their national bird. I looked it up. Well, Serge says that your eyes are the same color as your bird. What does that even mean? No idea. Ask her something else. Like what? I don't know, something that makes me sound witty and romantic and rich. Serge wants to Serge know... Serge bores me. How do boys in your country show affection? <gasps> What's she saying? Well, she wants to know how boys here show affection. Oh, sweet. Hey, tell her that we do push-ups. Oh, I'll get you some water, Serge. It's best to hydrate after push-ups. 
Sergio can do over a hundred push-ups in under a minute. Bianca can do hundred kisses in under a minute. Want to see Carl? Get on my back, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> What's she saying? Is she seeing my superhuman strength? Sad. Oh. I don't think she's seeing anything but Carl's neck. Yeah. 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 Serge came for dinner, not betrayal. Uh, Serge! What happened? Just scavosi a little babolini. What's babolini? Uh, she just called me her boyfriend. Hey, that was mine. Okay, you barely beat me. I hope you're ready to kiss your AIT status. Goodbye. Search. Ah, uh, look, about last night. You mean the night I was invited to dinner, and then you flirted with my girlfriend. She's not actually your girlfriend. Says you. The point is, Bianca was just, uh, showing me a wrestling move. A wrestling move. How stupid do you think I am? Let's stick to one subject at a time. Agreed. Trust me, Serge, I have no interest in Bianca. You two are a much better match. Well, you're right. But if you get in the way, I'll take it out on your guts. I'm crazy about Bianca. Besides sports and pizza, she's all I think about. I even started listening to Brajikistani music. I don't like it, but I listen to it. Can't wait to win this bet and bask in the glory of a Porter-free high school. Oh, it'll be Porter-free, all right. Porter be free of you. Now, switch, switch to sides, sides magic. magic. Ah, beat that. Oh, I will. Okay, look up. And you're not. Porter, get ready to use some angel magic right now. Where are you? Talking to yourself, Carl? I do that when I'm practicing for the debating club. Uh, I was just debating what to do about Bianca. She wants to have me reassigned from translator to boyfriend. You must have spoken the language of love. Mm, more like the language of you're not my type, but I'm forced to hang out with you while you're in my country. She's not your type? Why not? Uh, well, because she can bench press me for fun. She's basically a female surge. <laughs> okay. She's nothing like Serge. She's really hot. Okay, Bianca is really hot, and I would love to go out with her, but there's an order to this world. Really hot people go out with other really hot people. Just the way it is, and Bianca is at a level way, way, way above me. Well, if you mess with the order, you just get burned. By really hot people. Oh, uh, Bianca! I've been waiting for your soft embrace for such a long time. Oh, 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 what are you doing? Someone might see us. Oh, uh, Serge saw us. <laughs> I, I, this isn't what it looks like, I swear. You've got to believe me. I don't got to do anything except vanquish my foes. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, that's twice the amount of fooling. Shame on me. No, no, there's no shame on me. Uh, fool me three times and shame the... Oh, what's the point? My heart's broken, so are my fists. to me, Montclair? I'm so depressed, I don't even have the heart to sink a basket anymore. I could turn you into the kind of guy that Bianca will fall for. What do I have to do? You just have to be suave and debonair. I don't know what either of those words mean. Carl, if you're gonna help me, you have to stop speaking Brajikistani. But I'm not speaking Brajikistani. Okay, I'll stick to English. So last week in Mrs. Lennox's drama class... I've got a code seven. 
Serge is lovesick for Bianca. How lovesick? He can't even hit a basket from inside the key. But he's our star player, and Bennett High has a tournament next week. If he doesn't win over Bianca, he'll be crushed. Not good for Serge, not good for the school. So what we need to do is give him a makeover. <gasps> a makeover, yes! I love makeovers. Code, Code seven. seven. A makeover, right. Let's do this. First, we have to get rid of this. Oh, I feel so naked. Walking with this book on your head will help improve your posture. And for added effect, it's actually a book about improving your posture. Ah, you know what? Listen, Serge, you gotta be relaxed if you wanna make a good impression. Look at Alex, just copy him. Think of puppy dogs hugging unicorns. Good, better, uncanny. <laughs> Remember, you need to get above 0. .850 to be fully recalibrated, otherwise you won't be allowed to return to Earth. Now the final calibration, and your last chance, is accelerated growth magic. <laughs> You earlier didn't ask you to be here till seven. I couldn't wait for our date to begin. <laughs> well, it is a date, but it's not our date. Your Prajikistani must not be good. I'm having trouble understanding you. Oh. Serge really likes you, and I've been working with him to help him show you how much he cares for you. Bianca, it is uh, very nice to see. Speaks Prajikistani? Oh, I taught him a few words. Oh, I will fly to the food man and get the magical pizza snacks and containers of liquid reception. The lesson wasn't very long. I can't keep up my magic. Okay, no need to snap at me. Uh. Woo. Recalibrated. Recalibrated. Wow, 0.979 once again. Who's awesome? Yeah, awesome. I'll honor our bed and ask Dr. Kasabi to reassign me. Oh, Carl, I want to kiss your face. <laughs> but if you do that, then Serge might do something else to my face. This really means a lot to him. I want to kiss you, but I won't. I understand what's going on. Jusino, Ekrona Sana, Jujavko to Karol Motina. I know that Carl is in a class way above me and that our affection will never be. E Jusino, Opratina, Ekrode, Atrina, to Dissieta de Jasquate. Everyone in this country has so much wealth and prosperity and freedom. I bet you, Carl, have at least 10 goats. E Heltiata, O Lucaranta, a Chocreta, a Romeo and Julieta, du Jlave, du Prina. So it is understandable that we will be like Romeo and Juliet, two ships to pass each other in the night. This doesn't change my feelings for you, Carl, but I will enjoy this date with Serge. For you, my sweet. Thanks. And now, the Prajikistani National Anthem. Prajikistan, <laughs> Obriva. Stan van Zurzek trok lazoi, Prajika stan lozi. Brusha di son vanya, van kaush latanya. Prajika stan lo flo shiny, Prajika stan lozi. Time to drop the puck. Congratulations on your successful recalibration. Thanks, Dr. Kasabi. Yeah, thanks. Now that I'm recalibrated, I want you to reassign me. What? Really? Yeah, I want to be reassigned to get away from Earth for a while. She's just joking. She wants to be reassigned in her second period spare. Same as mine, so I don't have to spend a free period keeping an eye on her. Uh. Yeah. All right, well, I'll uh, look into it. <laughs> I admit it. I feel kind of bad for Denise. She hasn't been in human form for very long, and she's had it kind of rough so far. Maybe she needs someone to give her a break. Why the change of heart? Do you think our bet was serious? I was just joking. 
and I knew you could never beat me. Thanks, Porter. I want to be a full angel just as badly as you do, so I'll keep fighting for my fair share of Dr. Kasabi. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> All right, other angels are waiting. This trip's on me. Ah, your official magic recalibration certificates. Impressive scores. Oh, so that's where you've been the entire time. I thought Porter left me alone to learn a life lesson about handling things on my own. Yeah, sure, that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Porter, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure thing, Dr. Kasabi. I reviewed the last challenge on Angel Playback and saw how you helped Denise. That sort of thing is forbidden. Sorry, I saw someone in trouble. Isn't that what angels are supposed to do? Well, it is, but if you hadn't helped Denise, you would have beaten the high score. Really? I had no idea I was even close in the first place. Usually, I'm the one always messing up my magic. That's because your natural abilities are so powerful, they're harder to control. Cool, I just thought I was irresponsible. Yeah, that too. <laughs>